Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we're going to be General Forrester, the purple player, as we hop into the classic map and play Progressive Capitals once again. So let's see what the spawn looks like. We've got blizzards and fog on, as is standard for capital settings. And we get an Iceland blizzard, a Madagascar blizzard, and an Eastern Australia blizzard. So these two blizzards down here do next to nothing, but Iceland is really cool. I'm the purple player. I'm in the second position. Uh, my cap choices are between pretty much Afghanistan or India, I think would be decent choices. Uh, I do lean more towards Afghanistan, although India would give me some uh, easy card blocking on the red player down here uh, long term, but more card block a bull going left, right? So... We'll go Afghanistan for safety. And I like it's still easy to card block red in the late game. And maybe green would be ah, more tempted to go Siam. I'd like to see a bit of a fiesta down here, you know? A little bit of a fiesta dogtown. We're playing Capital Conquest on Classic with progressive cards. We got no alliances on, no portals on. We have fog and blizzards on. And 60 second turn timers. We're going to be General Forrester, another incognito account name I've come up with. Very creative. Uh, so we have red down here in Indonesia. Blue went to Mongolia. Green's got North Africa. I like Green's cap a lot, especially with the Iceland Blizzard. He's going to have the entire map kind of sectioned off from left to the right. East to the west. And we don't know where pink and black are going to go yet. Black may go Alaska, which is interesting if he does. Don't know where pink would be going. Based on pink not seeing me in Afghanistan and only seeing green here. He also sees... If You, you can keep in mind what pink sees... He doesn't, yeah, I thought there was a decent chance he goes here, actually, not seeing all of this over here. Funny enough, nobody took Middle East or Ukraine, and uh, Black did go for Alaska. So we actually see all six capitals right away, which is kind of cool. Uh, Red's going to just go for that. Australia, roll out everything. No, he doesn't. Okay, so cool. I will actually roll out that three, and I will stack here for now. He's going to hit this three no matter what, so I might as well... Try to get a card with it. And I succeed. Good. So I have a very strong capital. And troops that were going to die anyway were used to get me my card. Green's going to go for what? Nobody's in South America. Very odd. So often when I play these settings, somebody has like one or two people cap in South America. And I don't know why people love to cap in South America, but they really do it. Uh, I'm rocking out with... Okay, so they got the China Cavalry. Card to start. Blue's adding in here, taking a card, stacking his Mongolia. See how this goes long term. Blue is blue and red. Either of them would be decently card blockable later game, especially if blue's butting heads into black's capital, can't go through it, and then tries to come out to the left. And I've got, let's say, Euro, Afghanistan, India as like a little bit of a block here, so he can't get out, right? Same thing with red. Red's an easy card block if he comes up and I just go India, China. And he, he can't come through Siam unless he fortifies off of his capital. So later game, I have good card block opportunities on blue and on red. I have pretty close to the best opportunity for card trades. I think green is probably the safest or black for getting cards in the late game because they have access to both sides, right? Green and black are the only people that have access to the, you know, the Asia, the Europe side while also having North America, South America. Like, if everybody else gets knocked out of North America, South America, only black and green have access in there, right now, at least. Okay, so the boy did take that out down there. Uh, so I will add some troops in here. I would like to maintain my position in the middle there. I was... Oh, black's going to knock me out because he's going to go for North America. Should have seen that. Why is there 11 here? I guess it's for the sweep. Should have maybe saw that coming. I will lose my, my position over there soon enough. I thought about adding one or two troops to Japan, or maybe adding three to Japan, attacking up and coming back. I do like holding Japan, because it does show me what's going on between Alaska and Kamchatka. Later in the game, as people get progressive cards and the trades get big, people moving through here is very good knowledge. You can learn a lot about it. So I like holding Japan. In this situation, for the knowledge gain it provides... It's another thing I like to hold stuff like the Congo. If I could hold the Congo or Peru, that gives you information who's coming through South America or who's coming through Africa, stuff like that. 
Okay, what's green doing? Unknown. So far, nobody's got their bonuses, except for good old pink with the Australia. Okay. I would not be shocked to see the black player just start chunking out North America really heavily, unfortunately. Sorry, not, it's not pink that has Australia. What am I thinking? <laughs> it wasn't pink. It was red. Pink is right here. He's going to... Pink's trying to make a play for Europe. Okay. So, Squadula from Austria. Yeah, I might as well go through the opponents. We've got Bada Bing Microsoft from, from Netherlands. We've got Fazman. Fazman from United Kingdom. We're hanging out with our boy Dimitri from United States. Squadula from Austria. And Aztec Boy from United States. I'm going to lose that five stack, I think. It's unfortunate. I might end up losing this five stack too. Like, if people go crazy for bonuses, they're just gonna hit all these stacks. It's quite possible. He's trying to decide. Like, it is a progressive game. But the way the board's laid out, if he knows everybody's cap is out here, it's just him and green that have here. So he just wins the fight with green and he would actually get to hold North America for a while. Yeah, that 14's looking just directly at me. I don't like it. I think I stop adding troops in North America because I'm going to lose them anyways. I think that's my best plan. I also like whatever Pink's doing here, he needs to let my five get out. If he's going to go gung-ho for, for Europe, I need him to uh, to leave me alone. All right, well, I'm going to open up Quebec and move back. I don't want the 14 to hit my four yet, but it may. I'm going to trade on three. Don't want to be using up all my luck this early into the game. I hope for trades on three later. What's the green player looking at now? I can see if he's got Africa yet. Nope, he's still starting with five. If he does take Africa, we'll see him start getting eight a turn. Or if he takes South America, he'll start getting seven a turn. So, so far he has not conquered either continent. Okay, so he's going into Brazil now. Let's try to pay attention here, see what he's actually aiming to do. Oh, splits a lot. He is going to try to take South America now. I'm going to act very shocked. Because realistically, Black's the only one that's going to put a bunch of troops over here and potentially butt heads with him. That's also really good news, though. If Black and Green start fighting at a Central America-Venezuela border for these two bonuses, Green may get weak enough where I can come yoink his capital. Oh, he's going in. No, back to camp, okay. That's another reason like I would love to keep my five in Western Europe, because it has an eye on this capital. And this is my attack path. If pink goes to take Europe, I'll have no way to see this 12 without closing my line to the capital. Unless I go through Ukraine reach around, but like it's not good that way. He's just gonna start chunking all this stuff out. Wow, pink. Don't be that guy. Hit the three or the four, let me out. Or just go back to Ukraine and stay there. Or go back to your capital. Okay, he's giving people pathways out at least. Now, if Red doesn't move his way out, I can't. If Red moves out, I think I will move out. I don't want to lose the five stack for no reason. I have to attack once anyways. Might as well attack twice and fortify into capital. I'm going to lose my four in North America now. Yes. Okay, he's still got a four and a three. He's got to hit after that one anyways. We'll see how many... No, he's going down first. Okay, good. I... Let me hold that one. I want to keep seeing in there. Oh, I get to hold it. Back to capital? No. I could start adding troops in here just to be a dingle. I mean, this black cab's very vulnerable, man. Blue could make a 27 go yoinker dog it, right? Red's moving out. Good. My turn to move out. He saw the writing on the wall. Now he's going to move down to Africa. All the way down to Africa. Wow. So something to keep note of. Red is in Australia and he's also going to be in the tip. Africa. Probably it's going to be very easy to know where people are and how to kill them. 
if black and green are the only two people in this entire Western Hemisphere, pretty good for us. Because then we know, especially if pink knocks out Europe. Like, if I'm trying to kill people, I already know red is the only person in, in, uh, in Australia. He starts with seven. Red is the only person in Australia with this cap in Indonesia. So red is only here. Pink is only here. I know where green's going to be. I know where black's going to be. And that means I know where blue's going to be. Like, everybody's kind of going to be stuck in one position. So it'll be very easy to get the kill lines on people, to get people and eliminate them. Which is great for long term. We'll see how it plays out. He's trying to add troops in here and take cards. He doesn't realize pink's going to kill all of that. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Does anybody trade early? I might consider a card skip here. I'm in the second position. I could probably get away with it. Um, based on how green's playing, I don't think... He can't see me, so he won't see. As long as... If he's not paying attention to me not getting a card, he'll probably just take a card like normal. And he may do that anyways. Considering I have all of my troops on my capital and I'm just stacking my capital strong, I think I can afford to skip to give myself the biggest trades, right? I don't need the second trade. I don't think people will be weak enough for me to kill them in the second set of trades, so. We'll skip, we'll get the biggest trade each time and then look for opportunities of uh, people getting a little bit stupid. Yeah, black's rolling down. He might also break green. Did green start with seven this turn? He did, so he does actually have South America. We'll see if black breaks him. Black probably is pretty close to completing North America or he just did. I think maybe he was here and he was thinking about it. We'll see. I would not be shocked, though, if green starts going into North America causing problems for black. Although black, probably with his cap so weak, might have, like, next to nothing here. Red is just trying to take a bunch of territory. Green says thanks. Black says fist bump. Leave me in Japan, please. He's going to knock me out of Japan, I think. He just wants territory. Yeah. Very novice player. Which sucks, because I want this vision, right? Okay, so only red sees my capital. So, one attack. And then I'm going to switch dice so it looks like there's stuff happening on the bottom. And then I'm going to skip. Red also early traded to do that territory grab. So this looks more likely that I attack to somebody that's not paying too much attention. I mean, if you watch at the end of the turn, you see me get the card or you see me not get the card. So... If, if you're somebody that pays attention, you do know I skipped. But I just do a little bit of extra stuff just in case it helps convince a more novice player of uh, that I took a card. I like the card skip here. Uh, I'm, most times I don't like the card skip. But I think sometimes it's correct. And I think here it's correct. I'm going to be strong enough where the second set of trades I should be able to survive. And then I'm getting the biggest trade in every rotation is uh, very beneficial for me. Now, I wouldn't have card skipped if, if I felt like like if one or two of these guys after me maybe had already bought it out and I think the bot's going to trade early or black and red are fighting and red traded to hit them and I expect black to trade back and hit them. Then I know I'm probably getting the biggest trade even without skipping or pretty close to the biggest trade without skipping because people are trading early to fight or bots are tra going to trade the second they have them. So in those scenarios, I would never card skip. But in this scenario, I think it makes sense. And it's going to work. I will get the biggest trade. Okay, so I think Pink actually took Europe. I didn't pay enough attention. I was too busy gabbing, but I'm pretty sure he's got it. I mean, I could hit the three for fun. Maybe Red will. Red's card situation is probably going to be pretty bad now that he's taken pretty much everything. I mean, Blue probably took a card in Japan. I'd like to see Red roll Ukraine, right? He's going to get one, two, three. He, he gets at least seven troops. He has enough to hit the three. Yeah, he's going to. There we go. That's my boy. No, he hits Egypt. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to hit the pink three. Because I don't think I care. I'm stacking my capital. I don't care what you got to say about that, son. No. Pink gets... Oh, black actually card skipped too. 
Okay, I don't think that was correct. If you're already going to get the second biggest trade, why would you card skip to get the biggest trade? It's barely better. And now you're a card trade out of order of the whole lobby for a barely better trade. I think in his position, that was incorrect. Well, that's okay. I get slightly less troops. It makes my trade slightly less effective. And I think I think it was a negative for him and a negative for me for him skipping there. All right, pink player, you ready to trade and guard Ukraine with a twelve stack? Because you're a crazy boy that wants his Europe. Oh, you're gonna go run out here? Okay. If you don't split, I will be able to hit Ukraine. Now nah, he's gonna split and leave a stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting ready. He wants me to be forced to hit a big stack. That's how much he wants his bonus. A 10, yeah? Did I... Whoa! Dude screwed up, man. His cap is empty. His cap is empty. Black... Black... Doesn't see it. And red... Red will see it. Red sees it. Red's gonna take his capital. Red is gonna take pink's capital. And then I'm hoping... Pink has a trade on three and does a whoop -dee or goes into red. Oh, man, stuff can happen here. And if pink, So if red takes pink's capital, pink goes and hits him and takes it back, and then red trades on four to ram dingle him, I can maybe clean up, right? Just turn order. I I'm already seeing an opportunity where I'm basically going to win the game. Red takes this cap, fortifies some off. Pink either trades or doesn't trade. If he doesn't trade, it's even better for me. Oh, red trades early. I get the 15 trade anyways. Yeah. Now, if pink has a trade on three and he hits one of these capitals of reds, it's unfortunate that red's not going to be on four cards, actually. So maybe it's not near as good as I was hoping. I'll keep the China. No, can't keep the China one. Okay. Uh, these all don't matter, really. Oh, Iceland and Madagascar are both blizzards. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I could take the... the uh... I could take that, but I don't want to. I get bad dice, I lose 30 on that, and then I have a 23 stack to guard, what, two capitals? I'm done. That's not good for me. And also, his cap is not an upgrade for me. I just wanted to see what it was, and I wanted Pink to follow that. Like, it, some people might think that this is an upgrade, but it, this is a downgrade. This is probably, honestly, the worst cap on the map right now is the one in Australia. Funny enough. Is Black getting his 10 a turn? I haven't been paying attention. He has been. And he's beginning it for a while. Yes, he has. Okay. So Black has North America. Is Green still getting his 7? Yes. So Black and Green have a mutual thing here. That means Black has North America. Green has South America. Every other person on the board is... a Wait. Pink bought it? You had a set on 3 and you bought it? That's twice as bad for me. Because now my card taking scenario is going to be... I'm going to be surrounded by giant bot stacks. Okay. It having a trade on three was actually... I mean, it means it's weak. It traded for 20. And it had 29 and a 10. So it had 39. It's got 59 troops. So keep in mind, Pink has about 59 troops. It's going to get about three troops a turn. So when the trade... When it gets to four cards, the trades are going to be, what? 40 or 50. And it's going to have 50 troops. So uh, it'll be worth killing when it gets to four cards. Something to make note of. So I take a fourth card, it takes a second. I take a fifth card, it takes a third. I trade on five, prepare myself. I'm sitting on three cards. When it takes its fourth card, I kill it for four cards, trade, and that'll leave me on five cards at the end of my turn and trade again the next turn. All right, we'll look for that. I was So what I wanted was red to not have a set on three, to take that capital, and then pink to have a set on three, to hit it back, and then red would be sitting on four or five cards when it's my turn to go clean them up. He's skipping. Okay. No, he's not skipping. Sorry, he's taking cards in here. Yeah, yeah. Let's go take my easiest card. Quite the pain in the butt now that I'm... Pink makes a mistake, instantly quits. You see how fast people quit? He had a trade on three, dude. Red had a 20 on this cap or a nine. Like, he had, like, basically two 19 caps or something, right? Something like that. Pink traded for 20, made a 49 stack, and had a 10 here. He goes, boom, boom, boom. 
rolls like a 46 on 19, maybe loses 19, maybe loses 25. He's still got a 21 or something. He brings his 10 in. He's sitting with a 30, like between a 30 and 35 capital after he retakes it. You're not dead at that point. It's not great, obviously, but you're not dead. So blue's position still getting five, green's getting seven, red's getting nine because of the two caps plus Australia. Red's position is now much better, but it's also going to be very hard for him to hold this cap, especially if green gets really strong and feels tempted to take it. My position's getting bad in the way of now I'm going to have to start hitting seven stacks for cards. Okay, hit the three stack. I'm hoping that went to Egypt. Maybe I can sneak down to South Africa and trade in the Congo. Although I am also going to be preparing for this uh, pink kill. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Killing pink on four cards will be worth it. Killing it on... If it has a trade on three, it's one of those scenarios where it just sucks for me. Where I'm like, I don't think it's worth killing on three, but I think it's worth killing on four. Technically, I could... Like, it's going to take a third card. I'm going to be on... Like, I'm taking a fifth card. It takes a third card. I can trade, kill it, trade. So maybe I should... Because if it trades on three, that does ruin my game. It's not near as good, but it's still, like, it doesn't allow me to get screwed. Maybe I will. Okay. Keep an eye on the six coming down here. So when I do go to kill pink, I will do the reach around this way. Make sure I have all my stacks to come in here. And I can finish in Africa. I know pink's not down here, and I know it's not up here. There was a black stack here. Now, I don't know 100% what's going to look like after this turn. I know blue's capital's Mongolia, so pink's more likely to be rolling over here than it is to be sneaking its way in here. But I will, of course, come check. I... Like, you can see it, right? 15, 35, and 16. 51 troops of pink we see right now. 51, the trades are 35. That's why I want the four cards, not the three, right? Green's going to trade for the 35. So I'll, I'll trade for 40, kill pink for 45. It'll be like net neutral and pink's out of the game. I was hoping to make like some profit, you know? I'm all about the profit. Maybe red does something stupid and tries to hurt or kill pink or something, right? Pink's going to take a third card. Maybe red does something. Maybe black like goes for the kill and then doesn't realize it's in Africa. But then he probably feeds it to red. Red would find that. Oh, blue's going to go for the kill. Okay. If he's going to kill it for two cards, that's not profitable. So I'm cool with that. Oh, or is he just going to do... If he doesn't kill it, but he hit all that, that's very thankful. That's very thankful. That's right. Oh! 6, 9, and 20. Now it's, now it's super worth it. Okay. Like, it might be slightly over 50. It might be 55 or... Yeah, like, it might be... It might have been, like, 55 or 60 troops, but now he just knocked out, like, a couple stacks, right? What did I see die? A 7 and, like, uh, something else, right? 7 was Ukraine. Something else was here. A 12? I don't remember. Black trades for 40? Yeah, he trades for 40. So I'm going to trade for 45, kill pink, and get 50. That's super worth it, unless black or red gets it. I, if red doesn't trade on three, I don't think he takes it, so. At this point, I actually... Th oh, my God. He's going for it. That means his cap's going to be so weak. Black's killable, dude. Wait. You got to split. How weak is his cap going to be? This is his capital stack. If he fails this, this is... Red gets it. If he's, I actually kind of want him to succeed, because he'll be on four, five cards at the end of his turn. This is a 13 stack. He failed it. And he's got nothing on his capital. Wait, he's going to go up here. He's trying to kill guard it? If, if. People are not good at capitals with progressive cards. Red's going to trade on three. Oh, no. Black's cap is empty, I think. He, yeah, he gets that for free. Wow. I think I'm going to go yoink Black's capital. I could maybe kill him for two cards. Maybe I'll let him get another one. <clears throat> No, he's going for it. Oh, red's fast. Red's a player. Black came down, though. Is he going to kill guard him? 
green and blue. Blue's not killable, right? He didn't go in? Is he giving me this cap? No, he's not. Okay. 14's quite nice. Oh, it's a 75. Okay. Okay, he's still strong. He's still strong. For some reason, I thought he was weaker than that. I thought his cap was empty. He had like a stack here, but his cap was empty. He screwed up his fortify. I was incorrect. How many troops did I use? Not too many, right? I started with uh, 113. It wouldn't have been enough to kill blue. Okay, my pink opportunity is over. Is he gonna... What is this? I guess Green's trying to card block. That's what Green's doing. He's working on a card block. Okay. No, yeah, I don't know. I, either he's working on a card block or he's doing something funky. Blue's going down? He's not going to hit that capital, though. We have to watch. This is the Kill Pete strategy dice. Oh, he comes out. You can see attacks when the dice move here. Makes a 10. Is he trying to, like, kill red? No. That's not happening, obviously. Red has this capital. What's he doing? He's just taking lots of the board and going here. Dude. If I get a trade on four, I get a fourth card. If blue doesn't have a trade on four and goes to five... I will trade kill him trade. 100%. It won't increase the position. My position won't get much better from it, but it will eliminate another player. I like Even if it's net negative, I do just try to eliminate players. As long as I can eliminate somebody and stay in the game and stay relevant, it doesn't matter if I fall behind. Because I feel like when I make it to the final 1v1 or the final three-player game, that's when I make those decisions that bring the win in anyways. So... If I can snowball and kill everybody really fast, great. If I can snowball and then give away most of that advantage to, to still kill people just to get there, I'll still try. Uh, he might be going for blue now. For four cards. Uh, no, bad dice or fail? No, yeah, fail. Fail. That's, uh, thank you. Kill red for two. Did he buy? No. Well. Oh. Wait, I'm going to get a plus two on that when I kill blue. Anyways. Okay. So we're going to go here. Twenty nine. That's good. Move only three over. I will get another trade if I kill red also, so I'm going to consider it. That's a lot of capitals I'm going to hold. Well, that's some dice. Oh, now I have... I can't kill him. I screwed up. Green has a trade. All right. Oh, he might come right... I, I maybe should have left more here to hold the kill guard. Shit, I screwed up big time. Oh, no! <laughs> I was supposed to split on here and not split here. Oh, no! We made a move. We made an oopsie. But he doesn't have enough to come through here now. Yeah, he's doing these weird splits because he thinks he's got the red kill. He doesn't. Uh, if Black has a trade on three, he might go for it. Don't hit my seven, please. He's going looking. He wants to make sure he uh, 
I mean, if Red was in Japan, he'd be screwed. Black sees none of this, so that's good. Black's going to come out with the 75. I hope he doesn't trade and come looking. He probably hits the 7 and takes it from me, which is okay. Afghanistan's the most important spot for me. I can't believe I screwed that up, man. I would have killed Red. I'd have four capitals. I'd leave like a 7 here, a, a 10 here, and then I'd be big on these two. Does Black start with 10? He does. He's very slow. He takes a card in here and then chills. Wait, he doesn't do anything. Bro, if I didn't have a 4 here, Red would take a card. Maybe he tries. Try to take a card. Maybe the bot would roll a 4 on 4. I mean, it'd be fun. I don't think it will. I think it'll put 4 down and chill. Hmm. Well, it'll let me hold the 3 capitals. Now, that's the situation we're going to be in is... Green and black can trade cards here infinitely, and I just die at that point. So maybe, maybe I trade and buff this, and I trade with red, if if that comes to it, right? Maybe I hold the red kill guard and use it so they can't trade here infinitely and screw me. That might be the play. The downside would be is if I don't buff this enough, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on two cards, actually. Because what if, if I trade into a trade, double trade 70, 140, I could take actually North Africa. Actually, I could probably kill Black. If I double traded, I could probably kill Black, honestly. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do the trade. Uh, we're not going to open Green's Capitals to come hit me. So I should be fine to hold all this. Go up. Make this a 25. Make this an 80. Make this a 50. And 82. Okay. Do I let Red get another card right now? On the assumption... No, okay, I can do it anyways. I was going to say, do I let Red get another card and then under the assumption I need to kill it for a trade to do something funky this upcoming turn. But I, if I kill it, I get a trade anyways, because now I'm on three cards. Um, if Black doesn't trade and he does come out searching for something, I will be... A, like, the downside, I shouldn't have done this, because now I closed my biggest stack from going into Black with a trade. If he doesn't trade here, I screwed up. Because his cap's only 75. So I think I screwed up. Damn it. Because I won't... Yeah. Okay, he had to trade anyway, so my mistake doesn't matter, but... Damn. Okay, what's next? Coming out? Are they being friendly? That's a slider. Ten troops for him, nine for green, but green's got all the territory. Yeah, they're, they're trading in there, huh? Well, green took a card out here. Maybe... It, maybe I can trade with green. That's the other downside is like I hate keeping a bot alive because they take 30 seconds a turn just to place their troops. Go away. Hmm. How do I take a card without opening green? Black can't black doesn't have a trade, so I'm probably okay. Twelve's probably good. Really weird. Okay. So maybe I let the bot get a card this upcoming turn. Cause then I can trade, kill it, trade. Double trade, two free trades. Although the longer I keep it alive, the more its its cards are worth, right? He wants Europe now. <laughs> All right. I, the way it's looking, I'm going to be honest. He's just trading cards with me. Okay, never mind. I didn't take Europe. Like, the way it's looking is like green isn't going to try to card block me after all this. Getting 12? 
Black's getting 11. Oh my god, they're getting so many cards. Or so many troops. Okay, now I can card block Black, though. If Green's got him card blocked here, maybe he's going to see... Maybe Black gets the 27? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I can card block him. If he's getting 11 a turn... I go, like, 16, 16, 16... Hmm. You can trade early. Set up the 16, 16, 16. <laughs> and he gets 11. He shouldn't be able to win a 12 v 16. Bot tries the 10 v 12 or no? No, it doesn't. Good. Okay, I will trade on the sole purpose. Making black taste it. 17, 17, 17, 35. In case he trades and wants to hit the capital, wait, 40, 50. Because if he trades and hits the capital, I want him to have less than 100%. Okay. We'll give the bot a card and then kill it. We'll see if Black gets a card here. Give him a fist bump. Please take a card out here. If he gives Black cards after I just did this, I will be sad. We'll see if it works. Come on, friend. Yes. Well played. And what? that's his only attack. Now black gets 11. Does he have a trade on three? If he does, my 17s get ram dingled. But it doesn't matter because I will kill red for three cards, which will trigger another trade, which will allow me to reset this. So whatever black does here, it's fine. He does have the trade on three. Oh, and he's doing this. Bro, oh my god. I mean, I'm the one with three caps, so did he... Did he take Green's capital? I want to kind of see. I want to see if he took this, because I don't know. <laughs> okay, Red, I'll kill you. And then I don't need to protect Indonesia very much anymore. So I will... Go here. Go red. Uh, it had a trade on three. You see, guys, that's why I wasn't going to let it get an extra card. No way, Jose. 60. This is my biggest cap, so it's going to have to be that way. We're just going to go here. Okay, fist bump. You and me, Green. Trade? Tradesies. Green is in the driver's seat right now. Because I can't get to North America, South America. So he can choose to trade with me, or he can choose to trade with Black. Green is the hardest to card block right now. I am the easiest to card block. And Black would be the most difficult being... Like, the way to card block me is they just trade in here and I'll never get through their capitals, probably. So to... I'm easy that way. Black's the easiest to card block because he can't get through green's capital. And then I just have, I set up the card block. So it's not that much of a difficulty scale to uh, card block black over me, but green. Green is the hardest. Because I'd have to do like a, <laughs> to card block green, I'd have to do like a Ural, Afghanistan, India three point. And then he'll hold the whole middle section and all the way up to Black's Alaska cap. Black's there with 13, so he does have this bonus now, too. Now he's bringing out to here, but not enough. 
Hmm. Let's do this. It's good. Couple sliders. Or, or uh, a couple manual rolls. Yeah, double sixes are good. Another one of those and I can stop? No. I would like the double sixes on my behalf. Double twos is not good. Okay, we take them to three, and now we get a double win. Yes. Now he's down. Two. One there. No more cards for black. He didn't get a card last turn, and uh, give a fist bump. The wild card. Now black will be more mad at me, but, uh, you know, let's get him out of the game. Get out of my game, sir. Get out. Can I beat green in the 1v1 if I... Uh, green can see I'm card blocking too, right? Like, he, he has vision. And he saw me manualing and slow-eyed blitzing. He, green knows I'm doing the eliminate black strategy into going into 1v1 with him, so... Perfectly fine. He gets 11 a turn, I get whatever. 12 a turn, who cares? None of that matters. What matters is, who gets black's cards when he suicides me? Me, I should. Or bots. I mean, if black bots, he will fortify from Alaska to uh, Brazil. It's oh, coming out with 100. That was a big instant fortify. That feels like it was off cap, right? Hmm. Let's see. I think that's him dead. Nope. How do you have so many troops? Well, back to capital. <laughs> Why do I think he only has 100? It's so weird. He's getting 13 a turn. I should know better than that, right? I should have just slider blitzed it. For some reason, my head's like, he's got only ones behind there. I am out of it today. I need to wake up. I did drink a monster before the game, but, like, I guess I need to wake up. Oh, let's get him. What's up, green? What are you doing? I mean, if he bots, that's annoying. I, I, I would like to play a proper three-play run game where Black Ram dingles me. But, I mean, if Black comes out, I can reconstitute the card block. And, like, if he hits this 20, my 158 can get active. Yeah, okay, you're here. No fake bot out. He's going to leave a stack in Ukraine to try to hold Europe, too? No, he's not. Okay. Keeping an eye on these guys. Black comes out. 160. That is all of black, though. He might not want to hit those 20s. Oh, fast attacking. He's going to look at everything. I mean, I can easy set a 20 back in there. He's looking at the camps and stuff. Does he leave a stack in here? That'd be hilarious. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And 20, 20, 20. <laughs> He's got two cards now. And this man hates me for sure. He's uh, in total. He's got what? How many troops? 150 ish, 155, 158, something like that. Cool. I mean, green's got his cap open to me. <laughs> I mean, how many can he really bring up? The problem with me actually leaving Yakutsk is he could actually fortify there, and I can't blitz it with the Mongolia. 
I don't have a trade on three. He's going to try it. 15 on 20. It actually gives him an extra troop, too, territory-wise. 14 instead of 13. Good. I have double black troops. I will be in a very struggling endgame against green if I do get the kill on black. And the, the way I need it is I need black to be weak. And I need to be able to have black suicide me when he's got, like, three cards or something. So I can kill him and recoup most of what he dives into me and then go into the 1v1 at, at a disadvantage, but not like a major disadvantage. He's going to blitz and get a card. Not too slow. Not too slow. Hmm. The downside there, though, is I don't... Oh, I can fortify, I guess. Low roll battle. Nice. Oh, not bad. Okay, pretty good. One? Almost. Nope. Nope. One more six. Oh my god. This is bad. One more try. There it is. God, do I have a trade this time? Keep in mind, Black's on 158 on his capital. So, depending on what he comes out with, I can go for him. Fifteen on twenty again. Should have moved up one, so he puts it here, because that's an easier blitz for me. Oh, better dice this time. Good. If we go completely even, I'm fine with it. Now it's his turn to lose, too. Thank you. Let's just do his turn again. Thank you. Let's keep going with him. He's having fun. Ah. Ah, there we go. This is good. 7 on 14 is not very likely. 5 on 14, much less likely. Yep, okay. He's going to have time to fortify now, which is great. Get your fortify in. I mean, if he doesn't, that's fine. I'm going to move up one spot just to make sure he's got... Oh, fortify? No, oh, ran out of time. Move up one spot. So he's getting 13 instead of... Uh... I want him to get 13. Instead of 14. good Ooh, a trade plus a wild is good oh come on black come on out the water is warm thing is if i trade off this 20 and smack him too green doesn't see how much i'm hitting which is great because green's gonna have the opportunity before black's turn to go kill him if i hit too much i'm the one that wants to let black get a third card before i kill him because i want to recoup as much as possible Yeah, keep, he doesn't want to take Ukraine or Middle East and close off his cap, but I mean, like, we're... You, he gave Black a card, dude. You gave Black a card? No, he didn't. I don't think he did. Black's getting 13, so he still has North America and South America. <laughs> He's skipping now. And fortifying? He's not even going to try to roll the 14 on 20. Nope. He's chilling. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Let's go 150 and 160. Because this can go to what? Almost 300? Yeah, so... 75. This is 169. This 85 is fine. I don't care about it. Ooh. 
500 troops, black has under 200. Happy to see. Green has more than me. 250. He's got more on this capital, I think. Time for me to take Asia. Successful card block on black. So let's just keep in mind he's getting 13 a turn. He was at like 158. He was putting everything into me though. So he got like a 113. He's probably got like a 170 on it now. He's coming out now. How much? This 250 cannot hit the 169. So whatever I blitz here, that's not enough. Boom. Boom. There we go. Pretty good sliders. Put him right to two. So we have to try a 15 on 20 now. I didn't even have to get a manual out for that. Pretty good. I was on, what, 169? So I lost uh, 56 troops for all that. He had 70-something. That's cool. And he brought out how much? He had a 76, right? And he put 13 down. So he brought out like 63 off his cap. So his cap's like 107-ish. Approximately. If he gets a card here, I can maybe trade kill him. I don't want to trade kill him yet. I want him... I would love if he got a third card, didn't have a trade on three, and then I fed him a fourth, killed him, but... That's a rage quit. That blitz means he's rage quitting. I already read it. I read it! Fortify completely off. Come on, daddy. Um... I think I have a trade while holding the wild. If he fortified down here, I will be sad. Because then green will see the fortify, get his two cards, and his position for free. Trading on four? I mean, if green goes for me, this is annoying. I wouldn't recommend it. Only 45 here. He traded for 122. Yeah, he's got a bigger stack here. Weird what he's doing with his troops. So he had, let's say, 107, and then he put, he blitzed that. So let's say he's got, now he's got 120. If he rolls this, maybe he's suiciding green. Okay, that's him. 134. That's all of them. At this point, I can feel confident. This one's not that important, actually. Let's go with everything, because I'm going to fortify back anyways. Three thirty-six, yeah. That is a bunch. He's got six hundred and thirty-six troops on capital right now. 636. But I have three cards ahead. So I get 130. I have to use my wild though. So I'm I'm 600 to his like 650. We're close. Right? He's going to be he's going to get a card and then I'll get a card. He'll get a card, I'll get a card. So the card order is actually good where he, if he trades on 5, I trade on 5, try to card block him. Let, let's see the card block start happening. I actually already have 20 set up for card blocks over here, so that's kind of cool. 
Got the 90 there. Oh, bringing off cap troops is nice. If it's enough I can hit, I will hit. I would like getting attacker's advantage rolls on you. I got to bring Japan into Mongolia. 80. So it's 170. I get 17 and... Oh, oh, oh. interesting. 148 on 170. I don't overly want to do that. Hmm. Let's do what? Sixty-nine. That wasn't calculated at all. Okay. No trade on free. We're in an even end game. A relatively even end game. I have four caps to his two. He's gonna be. He's gonna have an easier time card blocking me theoretically, but I think I can do this regardless. What's he start per turn with, by the way? 14. Yeah, 20s are fine. I have a trade. If he trades, I he's on four. If he takes a fifth, I'll take a fifth. If he trades on four, I'll trade on four. I trade to follow him every time. This 172 is... The, the goal of this is to ensure he can get cards if I card block him out here. This is very smart. He's a good player. This is going to be a tough 1v1. And we're almost an hour into the game, so... Shocking. We did get black out, though. And it was good that he was before me in turn order. I did get his two cards. And it did put me in a 1v1 at a slight troop disadvantage. But my position's okay. Now, green's thinking a lot. I'm not going to emote him. I'm not going to say good game. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, sometimes you say good game and the other person feels like you're conceding. Like, hey, good game. You've got me. Right? Because some people do that. If you've got me, they're like, hey, good game. And then they fortify off cap or something. I don't want to give him any notion that uh, he's going to win this game. I'm just going to destroy him instead. <clears throat> That's my goal. So 17184 is interesting. So let's say he's got 650. Let's say he's got just under 700. And these are 400. He's got 300 on his count. Or just under. 280 or something. He's fine. He gets 135 plus 14. 149 onto wherever he wants. Is he going to go for the Alaska cap? I wouldn't hate it. If he gets a bad dice roll, it's good for me. See, this is odd because he's taking a lot of the board. It's going to make him a lot easier to card block. If he takes this cap, he will have lower troops than me. I think he's doing it. He didn't actually know how big the cap was either. Okay, lose 200 and... He didn't even slider and he lost less. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Okay, well he is easier to card block now. Trade, triple or uh, cavalry. More likely to get a cavalry. If he takes this, that's fine. I can do a reverse card block. He can get more a turn than me. That is fine. I can reverse card block him. He takes Ukraine and Kamchatka. I got him. Although I need to be able to get cards too, so that's also... Him getting Alaska is annoying. Maybe I should have buffed it another 100. Although he should have lost... 
70 or 80 more troops at, at average, he should have lost 70 or 80 more. And then he's fortifying more off of this. This is the big stack, though. He's got 300 here. What's that? 430? No, maybe 250 here? 250-ish. No trade? He has a trade on three. That's not good. So he can't card block me, obviously, because Middle East. I will get a card no matter what. He's going to hit the 40. Okay, closer to even. I'm fine with that roll. I can force him to take one of the other spots now, though. He started with 24 to my 12. That's actually not bad at all. I can do 34 then instead. Okay. I think I have no trade on four, honestly. Okay, no, I do. I have dudes. They sent the dudes. Come on. Ridiculous. He doesn't want to take Kamchatka because then I start the card block over here. And then I force him to hit Ukraine. And if he... Ha so... He takes the second card now. One of these. I think he takes Kamchatka. Because then I have to set a card block up. And then he has to come through to break it. And then I'll take that'll give him a third card. <laughs> but I can reset the card block up with my 326. Yeah, see? Beautiful. Okay. So we will trade. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Forty. Two hundred. He has to take a card with the three hundred now. And he has no trait, so there's no... Okay, if he does this, it's even better. I mean, I have to take a card, too, so we'll see what I do with that. Oh, he gave me a card. That was a big mistake. Okay, that's great. That was So he's misplaying, which is exactly what I need. If he has no trait on three, I will be able to card block him. I need to make these bigger because now he also has Europe. He was getting 24, now he's going to get 5 or 6, 7 more. He's going to get 30 something. I have to make these as big as possible. 40s if I can. He's wasting his time thinking. He's fortifying something, right? Five, ten, fifteen, 15, and. Like, yeah, uh, 5, 10, 15. Capitals, two cap, three capitals is six more. 21 plus territories. <clears throat> okay, I got 11. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, one. Okay, if he doesn't get through here, that's good. Do I have a trade on three? If he has no trade on three, this... Okay, he gets 29. 37s should block 29. 30 on 37 is not good. Well under 50%. Trade on three. I will set it up again! He thought this cap was free. It's not. Oh, he suicides the cap. He doesn't understand the card block set. I, he's in a good spot, bro. I actually think he's got a better position than me. After he got the after he got the god roll in Alaska, I think it was his game to lose. I think he just wins at that point. 
So I'm actually shocked. So, okay. Here we go. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. If anything, he gets thirty now. No card, and I can also take India without opening anything. I have no trade on four. He gets trades on three. He's going to try this, or he's going to get lucky because. He's going to get lucky? Because why not? That is ridiculous. One, two. One, two. One. One. One, two. Wow. All right, well, it gives me an extra card. Jesus. He has no trade on two, so I can do this. I can do the 39. Card blocking from a very, very small position is kind of fun. Keep in mind that cap roll he did, that cost him a lot of troops. He has no trade. He shouldn't beat that, but he might. Where was the cap roll? Is that one? Are you serious? Wait. This game is a joke. This game is an absolute joke. He's going to have a trade on three on top of this. I promise you he's got a trade on three. This man is the luckiest man in the planet, man. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, he's going to have a trade. 43. If he has a trade, though, I need this to be bigger. Because he might come through. What is it? 160. Uh, 200 hits that, and then this. He's going to have a trade on three. I'm, I'm not even... I always have to play on herd mode. <laughs> It's going to win. 31 on 45, it's going to win. I cannot believe this guy's dice. Okay. He won a 30 versus 37. The turn before, he won a 25 versus 37. Or, sorry. That was a trade one. Okay, I can deal with that in a second. I just want to complain about his dice. Um, no, he hit the cap. He won 157 and a 122 cap. He lost 80 plus on it. That's fine. This is fine, because I can take a card here. And zero this. Yep. And then I also need to take a card. We have 43. Buff this just in case he had his trade on three. He's getting 30 a turn to my, like, 12, which is adding up 20 a turn, but every time I block him for a card, he loses 55 troops. Stop it with your freak luck, bro. How much did he bring last time? 70, right? He had 200 and something on that capital? Can I trade and come through? No. Do I need to trade? No, I can, I, I can do this. Save my trade. Zero dice slider again. Eight. Let's get good dice. I need to get this to a two or a one or he will beat me with his dice roll again, because he's disgusting. He's a disgusting human. Uh, that's three, so can I get double sixes now? So, uh, that's good enough. That'll do it. No, 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 I meant to fortify to the 20. I, stupid, stupid. Oh, I screwed up. Whatever. 
Ah, I did the one. I, I meant to fortify to the 20. <sighs> well, this will work. Maybe he has no trade on four. I hope he keeps going. No, he doesn't. Okay. I can't get through this capital yet. Well, if he has no trade on four, we do get to do this again. And if he does, then I'm a little bit sad. And the trades are 170 plus 30. He gets 200. So the odds of him making it through a 44 and then a 116 cap or something, not great. And he's already shown he will roll the caps. This two, it's fine. I'm going to put more here. Okay. He's going to have the trade and I will not. Now our card order is awkward. He's got four and my three. If he trades now... I mean, I can keep resetting a card block. Like, this is weird. This is a reverse card block. You guys may think I have no chance to win this game with him holding the whole board. But I have the card block power over him. Because he owns the whole board. It's a weird feeling, right? Like, you've seen me card block people where I have the whole board, and then I choke them into a corner and card block them, and then they quit. But he's not able to do that to me, so I'm reverse card blocking him. There, he figured it out. <clears throat> he figured it out. That uh, I can't actually go any further. It took him some time. He has 29 to my 12. <laughs> He's like, hey, now guess what? Hi. I know, I'm aware. It took you a while, but you did get there. Now, if he wants to go stack smashing, he can, but I can redo it. 837. I do have a trade. If he trades and tries a cap run, or not a cap run, but a cap hit, 170. Could make this a four, like a 470. This is going to be a long game because this guy's not going to quit, and I don't think he's got what it takes to beat me. So what it will take for me to beat him could be extensive. Wait, he card skipped. Okay, now we're now we're we're in Looney Tune territory. Hmm. Gonna try a cap run? I gave him a card here. <laughs> Wait, so he won't take a card here if I have a 45 here, but if I... Okay, he's... What? That doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Oops. So this cap is very important, so let's make this a big boy. Let's make this a big boy. That's I I want a deceptive stack down here, so if he does go for a run, he, he can't get it, and also him going for a run allows me to have one two card card block. The card block return on him once again. Did he skip card on purpose so he's in uh, the prime position to trade immediately after me or something? There we go. There's the snack smashing. That's why I started bringing them back to capital. Oh, he's going to try to do it backwards. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'll take the attacker's advantage. I think it's time to start doing some stuff like that. Not bad. All of your caps are open and I can see you. 
So what's this? 275, 275, and 275. That's like 725. That's like 725 troops. I have more troops than that. I have 877. He has 725. Plus this, 750? With a bunch of ones? He's under 800? Or he's got a 40 or something hidden. Like, is he under what? Does he have a bunch of 20s and 40s to, to card block me if I go too far? Like, is this actually the scenario? I'm just beating him by 100 troops? Maybe. I card blocked him for a few turns. He's getting 30 a turn, though. And he, he did blow 80 on my capital down here. He's blowing troops like 31 to 9, 25 to 5 here a minute ago. Very poor, poor play. I mean, in this case, I'm going to break your Europe. I mean, if, if this is what you're doing, I also think Madagascar is important enough. And I should do this. Actually, it's probably strong. Strong enough for one of these in a trade. And if he blitzes two of them into it, that's just so dumb. He doesn't want to reopen this capital? Fine. I'll knock you out of here, maybe? He's going to go looking now. That's fine. Hmm. All right, bro. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, trade again. Yeah, man, I'm paying attention. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. More blitzing into my capitals? Come on, daddy. What's he starting with? 21. This is the downside of these settings is he's good enough to make it take a long time. <laughs> oh, card block city time. The reverse card block on daddy over here. 40 40. 50 37. That works too. 320, 320, 20. So you can also notice he likes to keep his. His capitals equal. Okay, let's keep forcing him to take cards that I want him to take, though. I think I should leave this enticing enough for him to hit, because if he hits this, I just win the game, I'm pretty sure. Brings a 39 to Egypt. He has to hit one of the cards he doesn't want to take anyways, so. Is he starting with? 24? Reverse card block, reach around one time more. You got son? He's gonna try, oh my god, the god dice again? The god dice once again? It will work. You know it will work. Oh my god, wow! I actually want him to hit the 30. Okay. We, especially if we go even. Hell yes. Oh yes. Lost 9 on the 7. That's great. And we went even on all those. Perfect. That's really good. For, oh my god, that's even better for me. And then suicide. That's so good. And I trade. He's going to trade too. Mm. 
Mm. Let's say he gets like 40 troops. Well, he's got to trade anyways, right? I mean, I could hit a capital. I don't want to. This cap's open and free. Let's say... Having this prematurely as a 40 is probably pretty good. I want him to roll that with uh, not ideal dice. No trade on three for me, I think. Oh, it is. Dudes, we sent the dudes! Okay. Probably should have took no he had because he had the trade I sh there was no way to do that where he I couldn't have forced him to take Cam Chaka because of his trade so <laughs> I mean I could have hit like a couple squares and like put two hundred two hundred two hundred yeah it's not even enough <laughs> not even enough he probably thinks he's winning that's why he's blitzing these stacks that's an interesting play. Okay. So he's getting how much? 31. Good. Oh. Do I want him to hit that cap, though? I mean, yes, I do, kind of, right? Should have maybe done 45s instead of 50. Another dude. If he trades on three, he can hit Mongolia. But then, like, I have a 559 with a trade to come back on. And I'll take Alaska, probably. Although, no, maybe I want to take Mongolia back and then just keep what I'm doing for the blocks. Although, if I take Alaska, maybe... Maybe I even take Africa. He's coming. <laughs> this is your last card, if you don't do something funky. Unless you have a trade, of course. Okay, that's fine. Even! Perfect. And blitz into the cap. Nice. Getting better and better. Okay, dokie. Okay. See ya. He's got a trade, and I can... Like, what's he going to do with a trade here? I'll just do it again. No trade? That'd be hilarious. I'd love it. No trade? Oh, no trade! You better lose. Thank you. I'll take India. Split 45. Yeah, I got this. Or actually, I can just trade and do this. Okay, fine. Let's go 46. Make this big. 250? Uh-huh. Kind of want him to hit a capital at some point. Right. Another card block. Do you have a trade on four? Were you holding it or no? No. I have one, two, three, four more cards before I have to open something. So every time he does this is great for me. It's fortifying. How many come up? Keep in mind, this was like a 320 or something. Have a trade on three? No. Oh, I can do that. I can deal with that. No problem. Come up to China. Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. No. All right, good enough. Got him down to a two. Beautiful. All right. Another card for me, I do have a trade on four. So if he was holding a trade this whole time, which I don't think so, he would have used it. Every time he fortifies more off, I will just hit it. This is what you would call a reverse card block. As we are attempting to do this forever. But it will work out and we will win the game. This guy will at some point give up. Or I will get enough troops advantage over him, right? I think I'm a couple hundred ahead. I think he's got like 300, 300, 300 on his camps. Or 320, 320, 320. Like it's slowly we're getting there. There we go. More? I need to bring some over from Afghanistan, honestly. How much? He needs to bring like a couple hundred over, honestly. That's not enough. Perfect. Okay, I need to remember to fortify into this 29, but I need to also zero this out. This cap is going to be very weak. So if he was holding a trade this whole time, maybe he goes for it. Because I have to make this a 46. Or 47. Because there's a 2. <clears throat> Good game. I actually think this guy's going to bot out before he actually concedes. Because it would probably be pretty infuriating to lose in his shoes, right? Oh, okay. He's going to let me get my, my two more cards. That's fine. Uh, trades are, what, 200? So he can hit... He, this being 150 is probably pretty juicy. Now I should keep this big. I want the Afghanistan cap to be so strong, though, that when it is time to give it to him, it's time to give it to him. And he can't do anything about it. So I need this to be like a 93 or something. It's going to be a 2. I need enough for him when he fortifies up. And then here. Pretty good. Bring this 3 out. <clears throat> Keep in mind, this 630 with a trade is getting closer to being able to take another cap off him, right? And once I do it, we'll give him cards again for a moment. But then I can start letting him take the rest of Asia, and then I can start card blocking him in Central America and and uh, with Central America, North Africa kind of deal. He's just chilling. I, I don't know why you think this is working for you. Because it is clearly not. Hmm... This being, let's do this. Let's get this cap ready to launch. Right? I don't care about Australia at this point. Hit him with a dab. I think with my troop lead build on, built on these cards, I can put a giant stack here. If he's got a 300 here, maybe I put a 5-something here. If he's got a trade, that sucks, though. Do I trade early? Just to ensure the pain? Or what? I think so. Because I want to see... What, what does your fortification look like now? 600. I'm going to put 600 here. More. More than 600. He doesn't get through a 300 cap at all. Let's just go. 
720. If he's been holding a trade on four this whole time, is is kind of funny. My next card can be to take this capital. Leave 40 here. Or 47 here, and then bring a bunch from here to this cap. What's this fortify? If I get a good roll in this cap, he's toast, though. <clears> hmm. <throat> he's going to have a trade to come back with, though, once he gets a fifth card. If he has no trade now, he is in trouble. Let's say I roll 600 on this, because that's 100%. I got at least 120 to leave on it. I think I have enough to hit that. I think I have enough to hit that. I think he's been buffing the other cap, though. Let's get good dice. Not great dice. Forty, okay. Forty-seven. Just in case he's been holding a trade the whole time. I don't think he has been, though. That was a bad roll, though. I lost 502 on a 303. But he hit my some odd cap here and got positive, right? Now he saw me come off this cap, so he's going to bring some out, though. If I had a trade on three, he'd be done now. That's enough. That's enough to bring out. <laughs> hmm. It's okay though, I've, I've built considerable lead. Does he hit the 133 or does he go for the... Honestly, I want to keep Mongolia more than... If he hits down here, that's fine. If he, if he hits this though, it's not good. So I'll open him by going to the Mongolia cat. No trade on four, dude. He's going to get a fifth card, and then I get a fifth card, though. So he trades, then I trade. Oh, he's, okay, go ahead. Smack some staff. Smack some staff! He's got a 300 here and a 200 here. How much does he really have on this capital? Another 300, maybe? No, he's going to take one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting card take. Hmm. What's he starting with? 21. I actually don't need 45s. You gonna try a cap run? He won't get it. He won't get a cap run. I have a trade to come back with. And uh he shouldn't get 100 percent blitzes, 220, maybe. We'll see. Bad dice. There we go. Thanks. Good. I'll take that back now. Hold up. Um, come off the 47, and then how do I fortify? I need to make these like 35 each or something. 32. Come off the 47, and then I can fortify. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to do the things. This should work. It should be 100%. And I don't get screwed. He has a trade on three, this sucks. I'm 
I have a trade on three, though. I have triple cav, right? That was dudes? Yeah, okay. So if he does trade on three, I can come back. He shouldn't get a card here, and then I can take a card in Scandi, then a card here. I have three cards I can take where he can't get one. Unless he gets God Dice again, right? <clears throat> Which is what we don't want. If he brings enough off, I trade and hit it. I think I trade... Oh, yeah, yeah. How many troops does he get? 21. Yeah. There we go. Good. Card block is still in. Suicide impending. So we'll go like this. The suicide's coming, right? So I'm going to make sure I don't need this to be a 47. It can be a 35 wipe off this. 21 doesn't get through a 34. It should, like, the time of your god dice are over. Yeah, now he's bringing off that cap. How weak is this cap if he's bringing off this cap now? 120. I can I can zero that out pretty easy. Um I will I will continue to destroy you. Oh my god, I need better dice than that. Activating the rest of my troops. I should have brought some off Afghanistan, to be honest. <clears throat> 23 into a 31. Does he get there? <laughs> Good game. Like, come on. You are, you are running out. <laughs> He can bring most of it over. I can blitz all of this and bring the 216 over, right? He can't actually get to the 216 without a trade. I think he bots. As I said, I think he's going to bot at the end of this. He's not going to concede. Good game. No? Okay. Also going to make sure they're even a little bit bigger. This is a clinic in 1v1 right here. A clinic! Someone said the other day, I don't see you lose the 1v1s when you get to that end game, but you just gotta finger it out. It's all a pattern. 1v1s are quite different from like actual free-for-all risk. Yeah, good game. No, he's fortifying down to the 21. If I had a trade on three, that'd be funny. Oh, he's gonna come through with the 70. Just kidding, he's not. Wait, I don't have a card. Okay, I got an idea. I open him to come into me now, right? And I get him to hit some capitals. <clears throat> hmm. You can have a card. <laughs> Go on, have a card, it's fine. Oh, no trade on four for me is bad though. It just means when he trades on four next turn, it's good. Like I have 800 troops, he's probably got 300, 400. Like he's way behind me now. He's actually just, okay, he's leaving Egypt for himself though. <laughs> Which is one more card, good for you. Trades are pretty big. If I had a trade now, you're probably toasted. Hmm. Okay. 
Actually, no, I want to keep Afghanistan. But 75 down here is good. It's going to trade. There it is. Cap run? <laughs> the cap run of destiny. Come on, daddy. No, no. Hit the 35s? Okay. He gets one more card. He gets Egypt, and that's it. I will block everything else. Once again. He probably is like, what the hell is this game? Because he owns the whole board and he loses with it. It's pretty funny. And he goes back to the other cap because it's open. Doesn't want me to find it. Don't worry. I don't care about it. Let's go 37s. He has no trade on two, obviously. Is that it? That's a block except for Egypt, right? Looks good. Don't want to lose this cap to a trade on three next turn. And I might want to fortify somewhere else. So we'll do that. Trades are getting massive, by the way. Compared to, like, our troop totals. 240 compared to, like, they're a quarter of our stacks. Because we're trading. Now if he has, uh... If he has no trade on three, he's feeling it. Oh, an 18. Cool. What's he starting with? 18. It's fine. And now he'll get a few more for that. That's fine. I don't need to buff anything. 0% slider. Bad. Get some manuals, get it down to a 1 or a 2. After I lose some troops, because why not? Oh my god, 6 in a row. Can I just have... There we go. Just lower him a little bit. That's it. That's all I want. Alright, so it's on a 2. I can't roll anymore once it's a 2. I'll say single dice. Uh, 37s are fine. Honestly, 36 is fine. I'll make this a uh, 38 because he's got a 2. Oh, do I have a trade on 4? Yes, I do. Do you have a trade on 3, doggy? Good game. Some guys might be wondering, if he's only got 400 troops, why didn't you run through and try to take Alaska? What if he has 300? What if I'm miscalculating? What if he has 150 more than I think? Right? There's no need. Like, I have him in a winning position. If I all of a sudden give away my winning position because I think I'm, I am I have him prematurely, it destroys me. So let's just uh, stick with it. Perfectly fine. He's probably just hoping I disconnect or something, but uh, that's never really happened to me before. So good luck. Good luck beating me by disconnection, Fazman. He's not giving out. Like, he is been thoroughly demolished in this 1v1 and he's not given up in the last 45 minutes it's just been absolute slaughter and for some reason he's still hanging in and trying to win so i mean props to him for not giving up but i think i, I think at some point you recognize it's over but maybe he's trying to learn right maybe he's like i'm gonna figure this out i'm losing but why am i losing how do i how do i what am i doing wrong at least maybe next game he goes in and he learns something from this game so maybe he's sticking it in just to see, he's trying different things, trying to figure out how can I win next time. Next time, just don't join my lobby. That was the most arrogant thing you've ever said. Do it again. I think he quit. I'm just having fun, boys. When I say stupid shit, it's just me having fun. It's literally just me having fun. That's it. Gonna take that capital yet, cause I don't care. But I will soon. Come on, doggy. This is uh, almost a two hour game now. He is here. Okay, and he's skipping. Okay, cool. Does he buff this cap? No, he's coming out there. Okay, cool. 
Good game. I think that's a good game. Yep, there we go. Gonna hit our boy with the old boom, 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 slippery tuna. Good game. Let's go. It was good. Uh, uh, props to him for hanging in there trying to win that game. Honestly, that was, uh, I, he made me take an hour longer than I wanted to, but it is what it is. He had a good position, and he got a god roll in that Alaska cap, which made that game take way longer than it should have. Uh, we had intermediate expert master for blue. Pink was a beginner, and black was an expert. So, great game. Uh, thank you, guys. If you made it to the end of this game, you're troopers. Absolute beasts. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you're not already, which I know most of you at this point would be. And uh, I release daily videos on my main channel. It's in the description below and five times a week on this channel. I got more risk above my head if you are not risked out for the day. I'll see you later.